Hey guys, this lesson is on a trick as used by Robert Johnson that's going to add some depth to your playing. And when I first started playing guitar, one of the things that drew me towards fingerstyle acoustic was this idea of making it sound like there was more going on than there was. You know, separating bass and melody, rhythm and lead, the kind of band in the box idea. And Robert Johnson was a master of this. In fact, the Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards tells a story that when he first heard a Robert Johnson record, he asked one of his bandmates, who's playing? And they said, it's Robert Johnson. And Keith Richards said, yeah, but who's playing lead guitar? And it's this kind of idea we're striving for. So let's break it down further in the lesson. So I'm in standard tuning. And it's a blues in E, so we're using an E7. An A7 and a B7. And when you're learning blues guitar, one of the first things you'll learn is this shuffle. This is the standard shuffle in E. But you can expand upon that by playing chords and now we're going to pick out the notes that are important to us And now let's get our shuffle back by playing a bass note in front of each of these chord positions. Let's do that again. And now in the first position, let's add a hammer on. And here comes our trick. After we hammer on, we're gonna play the first and sixth string open and then go back into our shuffle. Here we go. And it's really important to let the high E ring out. That's what's going to sell the move. And that's it, a simple trick, but a really effective way to spice up your blue shuffle in E. So we're going to start with this classic Robert Johnson style intro. We're walking down chromatically into a B7. And again. And then we're going to kind of do a call and response between seventh and diminished chord shapes and our shuffle that we learned before. So this is the call, 
And this is the response. And let that high E ring out. And then we're going to play the same pattern in A, with an A in the bass now. Again. And we learned this A shuffle before. One more time. And then back into our E. Into a B7. Down to an A. And this lick here. And I'm sliding up and down again, from three to five, back down to three. And keep the bass going while you're playing the lick. And then back to these diminished seventh chord shapes. But we're gonna pick them this time round. This is a B7 chord shape, moved up a fret, and then back down again. And I'm just giving a little break here. And that's it guys, and like I said, this trick is simple and effective. It's going to give the illusion of some separation between rhythm and lead playing, and it's going to add some depth to your playing. So I'll run through it slowly now. One, two, three, four. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.